The walls of Phil Rose's house are heat insulated. Everything inside is solar and wind powered. Rainwater is filtered and used for bathing and drinking. Rose bought this land near Fenner Wind Farm after it opened in upstate New York in 2002. Gas and coal and oil, they're all dead ends. They are going to run out, period. We have to convert to renewable energy. It's just the way we have to go. This is also part of the message at an education center on renewable energy near Fenner Wind Farm. Here on endless green cornfields, giant 187-ton windmills spin, surprisingly quiet and extremely powerful. They provide enough energy to power between 6,000 to 10,000 homes. The noise isn't as loud as I thought it would be, um, so it's just a nice like scene. I do think renewable energy is on the rise. Judy Carey, president of the Fenner Renewable Energy Education Center, was afraid the windmills would change life in the community. She says she was wrong. If you look around me today, you see corn growing right up to the base of a wind turbine. Another spot, you'll see cows grazing right up to the base of a wind turbine. Hay or grain being produced right up to the base of a wind turbine. Didn't change the way of life here. But Richard Foringer says the windmills are an eyesore and dangerous. We knew something happened right away, but we couldn't see till the snow let up for a bit. And one of the blades had fallen off of that sheared off. These troubles aside, the wind farm project has been a success. Today, 23 percent of New York State's electrical energy is generated from renewable sources. State authorities hope to reach 70 percent by 2030. We now are advancing offshore wind as well, um, wind that is installed in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, just this summer, we announced the award of two um, projects totaling 1,700 megawatts of offshore wind, which is the largest commitment in the U.S. toward offshore wind development. 18 percent of all U.S. electricity was supplied by renewable sources in 2017. That's up from 15 percent in 2016, according to a report by the Business Council for Sustainable Energy and Bloomberg New Energy Finance. New York alone has committed over a billion dollars to 26 renewable energy projects that include solar farms, wind farms, and a hydroelectric project. It's all part of America's slowly increasing commitment to renewable energy. For Dmitry Vershinin at Fenner Wind Farm, New York, NRI's Very News.